Gilmer, and this is episode three of my Let's Play 30 Years of War in Ajod title. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Ajod right. It's, I've seen several different pronunciations. I uh, just have always pronounced it Ajod as age plus odd Ajod. But uh, if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize, but uh, it won't be the first thing I've mispronounced, believe me. So let's resume the game and see where we are at where we are where we're at is kind of uh, poor grammar so I'll try not to use that again and what we're we have going on here is we have one Spanish formation the Maradris reinforcements I'd call it Maradris it's probably Maradus or something along those lines and then Bukoy who is inactive and low on supply very low and then we have this Bethlehem Gabor is in our region he has a power of 235 but I think we're, we'll be okay I don't know if he's active or not but well we could look actually can't we doesn't really say does it I guess they don't tell me if he's active or not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's me. That's my unit. I mean, uh, my region now, and it's pillaged. So let's pillage some more. Dampier is still holding the fort down here in Lens. Doing a mighty fine job there, too. So, let's see what messages we have the protestant union i read that last time the liga meets in Wurzburg. i pronounced that Liga and liga don't know which one's correct and i uh, got i received tax income from vienna good news the bukoy army has arrived in krems that is that region the weather is harsh the maradis re reinforcements have arrived in krems krems at, age, at day 23, Maradis reinforcements suffered two hits from foul weather and exhaustion. The upkeep cost one money. Garrison has been mustered. And the Bukoy army is partially unsupplied in region to bore. That's the region that just before they got to Krems. And it was pillaged, so it's probably doesn't have very much in supply. And one of the... Not just one, but a, an interesting point about the game that I learned is that the supply side of the game is more along the lines of wars in America. So you don't have any of these depots building up supply. It's basically however much the city's producing at the time, and it's pushing it out, but none of them are really... Uh, none of them are really uh, stockpiling supply for for units. So you 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 know there's going to be a lot of attrition. There's going to be a lot of uh, you know harsh weather taken and taken out of my troops. But I read that we're going to get a an army of twenty five thousand from Bavaria at some point. Nice indeed. Whereas they decided not to raise an army. That'll probably change. So let's go ahead and execute a turn. There we go. I clicked it one time and it didn't go, so I clicked it the second time. So I saw in the Matrix forums that some people had mentioned that 360 turns is a lot of time, but... As you can see, you go through one turn in the early years very quickly. I'm I'm already up I'm already one year in. It's because of the fact that uh you know, I only have three full formations now and I split one of them off of the other. So it would have been just two, but it's three. So I only have three three units or three formations to plot and during cold weather you really can't do anything anyway new military options available that's the first thing I want to check 
and I'm not going to do that again. I'm getting myself into trouble buying up everything I can. Control of Bohemia. Control of the cities of Prague, Pilsen, and Budweiser mean control of regional resources. This will give you some money, war supplies, and engagement points. Well, I don't control Pilsen, and I don't control Prague. But I plan on changing that at some point. I think what I'm going to do... Wait a minute, what, where is this? Where, where am I? Oh. We'll leave him there for now. Let's let him sit there for a while and see what he can do. He's doing all right supplying himself, so that's fine. But I think what I want to try to do is get control of these regions in between Prague and Budweiser, and maybe that'll speed up my movement between cities. And when the winter breaks, probably in April or so, that'll be the time to actually come up and try to take Prague as soon as possible. Hopefully we will have destroyed this unit or at least driven him off at some point. He's still unsupplied. Or not su unsupplied, but he's not supplied very well. He's, he's, he's active. Let's try him. Let's see what he can do. This guy can't be doing very well as it relates to supply this uh, Bethlehem Gabor unit. And what, what is he? It says Protestants, but I think he's from Transylvania. So yeah, let's just go through the F1, F keys, F1, Spinelli. Oh, uh, that's the Spanish unit. No, wait a minute. When did I get those troops? Berenguer, Spinelli. Okay. That's nice. I'll take them. Okay. Uh, Frederick election declared null. Frederick's coronation as king of Bohemia is declared null by Emperor Ferdinand. Hmm. I'm sure he wasn't very happy. More Spanish reinforcements arrive. That must be them. 1620 units available. So let's see. Hmm. They look the same. Look the same to me. Oh well. The Croatian dragoons have arrived in Strekonets at eight at day nine. Upkeep one one money is spent, and the Bukoy army is partially unsupplied in region cramps. How supplied are you? I wonder if I can, these, I'm afraid to do that. I'm afraid to do that because as soon as I put him single out here, this guy might attack him. I certainly don't want that to happen. But I wonder if Maradis, he does not. Let's give him one. Now he's showing he's unsupplied. It must be just these. Uh, supply units being uh, empty is why it's causing that. They can't fill up. All right, F2. Not good. F3. Seen that. F4, F5, F6, F7. Say there's not much to do between turns so these turns go pretty quickly Protestants morale is down to 99 I'm still at 100 something's going right wonder why they went down one point wonder if it's war weariness it certainly wasn't anything I did to them that's it let's do another turn here save my turn Execute. Hmm. 
I did put him on offensive maneuvers, didn't I? Why didn't they attack this guy? This guy is completely out of supplies, though. He's active. He's he's down to 160 power, though. Surely they're not taking up all my supply. They can't. They don't even have control of my current supply level four. So let's see. This is ridiculous. He is not in Bawaz. Okay. We're going to have to move this guy at some point, I guess. He's out of supply, too. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what the messages say. Royal Foot Regiment under Constitution at Prague. The Protestants have asked England for help. The Protestants have received money from the Jewish people. We may ask Spain for more help again. Received yearly decisions. What does that even mean? F3, F4, F5, F6, Spanish aid. Might as well. I have 45 engagement points. Might as well use them when I have them. Receive garrison. Receive garrison. The upkeep costs two, one money. Unsupplied. Unsupplied. How unfortunate. All right. Let's save it. And execute a turn. Since. What if... I wonder if that city down here or over here by Vienna Pressburg, I wonder if I can get to that or if it's locked. I could, t I could take that city. Okay, he's retreated. Jesus. 32 days. Well, well, we'll bring him down here and maybe this city can give him some uh, supply. Yeah, how do you like that? Let's take this unit out of there. They can go forage for themselves somewhere. That's probably what's keeping him his power up is are these guys. He's only at sixty six now. This is um this is kind of a a weak spot of this game. I mean if I can't even keep a 500 power army supplied in the, a, city, a city the size of this city or a supply level 3, the hell? Oh, current supply level 33. Well, when I get a chance, I should probably bring him down here then. Supply level 2, supply level 18, supply level 8, current supply level 0. Hmm. All right. 
The Spanish king has sent some, sent some help to the emperor. Thank you. Protestants succeeded in retreating battle. That was this guy. Dragoon's regiment has arrived in Pisek at, a, at day five. Cost one money. Bukoy, ba ba ba. Is completely unsupplied. Is completely. Un how can you. How can you even have armies? I'm beginning to think this uh, supply situation isn't going away anytime soon. All right. Try another turn. We'll keep going. This is a this is becoming lens has zero supply. Krems has zero supply. Ills has seven supply, thank God. No. This is not there's something wrong with this. You can't you can't have a situation where your armies can't you can't put an army in a field at all because there is no supply okay let's see what our messages are Dragoons, Bacoy, Light Cavalry, Bacoy, One Money, Protestants Capture Brun. You know, how are they able to move around? Because I certainly cannot without being unsupplied severely. Unsupplied, unsupplied, unsupplied. It's getting a little frustrating. I'm not doing anything. Just sitting, sitting in cities. Can't, can't do anything. I don't have any supply. This guy keeps getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And now this guy's getting weaker. Now their supply level's five. I guarantee you if they attack these guys they'll sit there and get destroyed while their guys always uh, take off at the site of battle F4 buy some armament you gotta be kidding me 5,000 thalers for two war supplies yeah I'm winning on victory points, but just barely. Well, maybe something happen. Well, must maybe something will happen during this turn with Dampierre. See. Told you. Told you. Their guys can retreat from my guys, but my guys 
a dragoon who's a cavalry can't retreat. He ends up getting in a battle. I don't know what to do. Why hasn't he moved? Why did he stop there? <sighs> oh, look at that. Nice, fine army you got there. Not much I can do with it. No supply. One little supply cart is not going to help me at all. What the hell? This army will be decimated. Hey, Salzburg's open. got more things to do now not necessarily more good things to do hire a new colonel what for we'll do it just because we have the units or the EPs oh the Liga now is doing an army thought they said they weren't going to do an army liars should call them the liars instead of the ligas. Still don't understand why I can't get an, enough supply. This guy, this this formation is going to be completely decimated. I, there's no way I can supply an army that big. I guess I should split it up. But where are they going to go? got a new colonel. That's the one I asked for. Okay. Let's pre 
Pressburg open for assault? Yes, but they have no supply. Interesting. There's no way in hell this guy can make it all the way up to where I need him. Prague and Pilsen. It's too much, too much men. Tilly, it looks like. Yeah, Governor Tilly, I mean Count Tilly. Why is his thing glowing? What does that mean? He's a good, he's a master logist, logistician. He's a good commander. He's a good Catholic. Excuse me. And then this guy is just a nameless, faceless colonel. Colonel, colonel, general. <laughs> what does that mean? He's a general, but he's a colonel, and his name's Colonel. <laughs> he's a generic colonel. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's funny. Not, not. It's really not that funny. It's just that it struck me as funny. It's uh, it's funny how what they how they do with generic generals and colonels. I guess they just uh, have some faceless person. I mean, they got this guy has a face. In some games, they don't even have faces. So, yeah, Budweiser has five supply. Ills has five supply. Linz has eight supply. I'm just going to leave them there. Oh, uh, let's see. Mehmed Aja. Mehmed Aja, in representation of the Ottoman Empire, reached Prague in July to deliver the Sultan's congratulations on Frederick's coronation. Sorry. It's already been, um, you know, rejected by the Emperor. The Empire has hired a new colonel. And we see receive tax income. I wish I could use it to buy supply. All right. I don't know how long this video is, but it's been going on for a little while at least. At least 40 minutes. Right? 40 minutes? Oh, It's amazing how they're able to move, and I'm not. And why am I not attacking that guy? Oh, we shoved him back. See, it's funny how they are able to retreat against me, but I can't retreat when it's me. Twenty one hits from exhaustion. Upkeep has cost two money. Partially unsupplied. Well of course they're unsupplied. Why is he in the fight? Why is he inside the city? I didn't put him inside the city. Jesus. One more turn. I didn't even save it that time.
27 days. Actually going to do one turn after this. Is this me? Is this mine? Yeah. I took it back. Go me. Victory points, 17 a turn, and theirs are down to 11 a turn. Yeah. My first big victory. Or not big victory, but it's a victory. These look like Indians, almost. So what are our messages? We may ask Pope Paul for more help again. Well, of course. Um, Protestants inflicted 10 hits on our units during the siege of Budweiser. Dragoons, like cavalry, Bavarian army. Of course, upkeeping the unit. Of keeping the units in the fields to money. Unsupplied, unsupplied, of course. I think I'm going to see that a lot during this game. I want to do one more turn because I want to see what happens when this guy gets to here. See if they even accept battle or if they're too scared to and run off like little children. Man, he sure did move pretty fast. He got out of Dodge quick. <sighs> New regions are available. French Spanish Army. Feria Spanish Army at Frankfurt. A Protestant Army at Baden. Regensburg. If any of you ever read uh, the books uh, about the Hangman's Daughter by Oliver Pusch, Potsch, Putsch, however you pronounce his name, uh, that that takes place in this area right around in here. Actually, it might be a little further south of München. It's in one of these regions, I think. Oh wait a minute, it's on a river, so maybe it's. supposed to be on a fairly significant river that's the Izar that's the don't know it's probably in, in München I think München or Re Regensburg I mean I think it's in Regensburg I mean not in Regensburg but close to it like right in this area but they're in the town of, uh, oh, what's the name of it from the book? I can't even remember the name of their town, but it's, this is a pretty good series, though. It's, uh, set in the 1600s, and the main, one of the main characters actually fought in this war, the Thirty Years' War. He, uh, he's the hangman of his town, and it's, uh, 1659 or so, and he actually fought in the Thirty Years' War, this character in this book, the hangman, um, Jacob Quazel, is his name in the book, the character's name. And he was the, uh, what's the name of their town? I can't even remember the name of their town. Man, I'm losing my memory bad. But if you ever get a chance to read those books, they're good. I picked, I picked up the first book on a whim because it was 249 on Kindle books, Kindle, um, you know, the uh, digital books. I picked it up. It's two forty nine. I figured I couldn't go wrong. I read it. I thought it was great. I started buying more of his books, and he has a book coming out this month, actually. It's called The Wolf, The Werewolf of Bamberg, and uh, I'll definitely be buying that one. And Augsburg, maybe it's over here. Is Augsburg in it? It's a small town, but it's in, in 
it's in either Regensburg, Regensburg's territory or Augsburg's territory. And Munchen is close. It's probably right here is where it probably is. It's probably right around in this area. Because it's in, obviously it's in Bavaria. But um, that next next episode, I'll 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 mention it where it would uh, where they are. Some people probably don't give a crap, but others might. You never know. It's a pretty good book. Pretty good book. So um, what's the name of this river? I can't read it. It might be over here somewhere. I'll look it up though. Anyway, they didn't even give us a fight here. They ran. They ran. They that guy so has such good movement. He he ran all the way back to Prague. If you can believe that. Wonder how long it takes to get to Prague. Hey. Hey hey. Well, my next episode, we're going to find out what happens when Tilly goes up against Mansfeld. Uh, historically, I think he defeated him. But who truly knows? I guess he don't want to go through the hills. This is hills as well, but there's a road in this uh, Alright, next turn we're going to have this guy going to Olmutz. If you remember my Let's Play Rise of Prussia, Olmutz was a pretty important town during that time as well. During, I guess it's a hundred and something years from now, is when that 130 years, I guess from 1620, you could put it at 17, 1750 and that War started in 1756, so about 136 years. And uh, the rise of Prussia will take place. This is interesting over here. There's some more troops. Cordoba's army. It's locked. There's a Protestant army. That's a big army. Look at that. Regular, 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 regular. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six cavalry and one artillery. That's going to be pretty hard to deal with. All right. Well, all right, people. Uh, this is the end of episode three of my Let's Play, 30 Years War. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.